so now we will see another sterilization technique which is called as cold sterilization and till now we have seen the sterilization by moist heat dry heat but heat and but now we will see about cold sterilization or the other name is sterilization by the ionizing radiation so this cold sterilization is done by using ionizing radiations like gamma rays alpha rays beta rays and all and that's why they are called as the cold sterilization because when we are using this damaging rays this ionizing rays then that does not increase the temperature but causes mutations and all in uh, alteration in the genes of the organisms and thereby death of those organisms so that's why as it is not increasing the temperature that's why it is called as the cold sterilization technique okay so we are using the ionizing radiations in this cold sterilization and this is a low uh, low temperature sterilization method why we all know because we are using the ionizing radiations so how does it act what is the mechanism so mechanism is that the ionizing radiation causes damage to the genetic material of the microorganisms that genetic organism alters the production of proteins production of the uh, you know the enzymes and all of the microorganisms so microorganism therefore cannot survive after the alteration of the enzymes so that's why the microorganism gets killed so this is the mechanism of action of this ionizing radiations in the sterilization technique or the cold sterilization technique what are the uses of this cold sterilization the uses for this cold sterilization are that this sterilization technique is used for sterilization of the tissues for transplantation so when we are using certain tissues for transplantation then that is sterilized by this cold sterilization technique the pharmaceuticals okay the drugs and all are sterilized by this cold sterilization technique the medical devices are used also sterilized by this technique what is the advantage the advantage of the cold sterilization technique is that it has very high penetrating power because we have got some rays okay the ionizing rays so obviously they will have very high penetrating power it has quick action because mutation will be very quick very quickly mutations can be produced and the microorganisms can be killed so it has quick action then the temperature remains low so the uh, materials or the substances which are very sensitive to high temperature they can be sterilized easily with this uh, with this cold sterilization technique so these are all the advantages of the cold sterilization what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is that very high cost that is quite uh, convincing also that of course we if we are using some kind of uh, uh, fancy rays like gamma rays alpha rays then obviously we have to expend some more money so it has very high cost then damage to the equipment made up of polyethylene that is also a disadvantage i don't know how is this but yeah it is it is written in the book so that's why i have written here also that there is damage to the equipment made up of polyethylene now sterilization control so what is the control that we use here the control we use here is the spore of the bacillus or rather the bacteria itself that is bacillus fumilus okay bacillus fumilus is the bacteria which is used as sterilization control in case of cold sterilization so this is all about the cold sterilization if it is asked you have to remember this all points and write in the exams okay that's all about cold cold sterilization technique